Hello, I'm Dr. B. Lehman, and this is Information Literacy for the Historian at Boston College. Today I'm going to be talking to you about using Chicago 17th edition full note to set up your footnotes and your bibliographies. To find the corresponding guide for this video, you can go to the library's page for Boston College, go to Research Guides, click on History, and then on your History Research Guide, you can go under undergraduate students and down to citations and bibliographies. Chicago 17th edition full note is a citation style guide. Historians use it in order to guide us on how to cite to our various kinds of sources, be they primary or scholarship, that we use to develop our arguments and provide our evidence. The reason we standardize it is because it makes it easier for your readers and other scholars to track what you're doing as well as how. It may seem arbitrary at first, but it is very patterned, and once you get used to those patterns, Chicago becomes very easy both to set up but also to read other people's sources. From this page, you can actually access the quick guide by going to the Chicago Manual of Style on the right side of the screen. You'll also notice that there's a quick guide that if you just need a quick refresher on how to actually cite two books, book chapters, etc., you can just flip through these. However, to understand the quick guide, you have to actually already understand what's going on. And as you see at the top of the screen here, it tells you that the guide for notes and bibliography is from chapter 14 of the full Chicago Manual of Style. You can access the full Chicago Manual of Style in that blue link right under the quick guide. Most people will never actually want to read the full guide. The full guide is hundreds of pages that tell you how to italicize words, how to indent paragraphs, etc. So it's incredibly useful, but not a stimulating read unless you're somebody like me who finds it absolutely fascinating. Within this, it is often easiest to go into the Chicago Manual of Style contents, and then look down here until chapter 14, Notes and Bibliography. Once you access in that, you can get a subtable of contents that gives you an overview of different kinds of information and portions of the bibliographic record. You can search the guide for specific issues, such as how to cite to a photograph. I just typed in the word photograph in the search on the upper right-hand side, and then I see in our search results that there's a whole bunch of references to photographs of different types. Because I know that citations fall under chapter 14, I can then look for chapter 14. And you'll notice here that it tells us that citing paintings, photographs, and sculptures are actually done pretty much the same way. So you can look down here, for example, and you get your examples both as notes, such as for your footnotes, but then also a bibliographic style. And keep in mind that your bibliographic style and your note style are not the same thing. Similar information, but not actually quite. Here, for example, one of the fastest ways to tell which of the two you're working with is one, for the notes, you get a note number. But also for the note, you'll start with first name of creator and then last name, because note is part of the paper. It's in conversation with the actual text whereas a bibliography is a list of works that you should be referencing back to that frame the conception of the entire paper. And so you get last name, comma, first name. For your convenience for looking at a bibliography, I have actually set up a bibliographic template using Word that you can reference to see a little bit of how these things are done. Please remember that you can contact me through pretty much any of the History Research Guide pages. You can email me or also schedule an appointment. Check out the next video for how to cite to a book.